been teaching online through Zoom for many, many moons, and I have streamlined my process and finally figured out my ideal desktop setup that I can see all of my students at one time. I can see the chat box. I can see my presentation and my participants window all on a single laptop with no extra monitors. So if you want to see how this online teacher sets up her Zoom in order to see all of those things, stay tuned. But first, hello, my name is Serena with SincerelySerena.com. You are at the right online teacher channel if you crave honest talk about the online teaching universe and entrepreneurship. If you are not currently teaching with OutSchool and want to throw your hat in the OutSchool universe, go down in the description box and find my free guide and start your online teaching journey with OutSchool today. Okay, so... Although most of my viewers are out school teachers, this Zoom setup will, will work with any online teacher that is using Zoom. Now, before we hop onto my computer, I want to tell you what equipment I have because I think it's important. I do have a MacBook Pro. I just made this recent purchase last year, I think. I finally made enough money to treat my online teaching business with this purchase. It's not a cheap purchase, but it definitely was worth it with the amount of time I spend teaching online these days. It is pretty. Let's see. Because I know it's important. Let's see what my monitor width is. So my monitor width is 13 and a half inches. 13 and a half inches across. I'm able to see all my students. And I generally have 6 to 12 students. However, I've had... Um, a Zoom meeting up to 24 that I have been able to see all of the participants this way. I am able to see the chat box because I think it's important to monitor that chat box, especially when teaching online through Zoom. The participant window in case I need to put somebody in the Zoom waiting room. And most important, I can see my slides and I can see my presenter's notes because sometimes I forget what I'm supposed to teach, which those presenter notes are huge. And one more thing before we hop onto my computer, I do use Canva for my presentations and that has been awesome. However, you can do this with Google Slides or PowerPoint, whatever presentation software you have, you can do this. You can do this with the same concept that I will show you next. Are you ready to hop onto my computer and see? All right, let's go. Boo. Okay, so please know I am on my personal Zoom. I am not on OutSchool Zoom or anything because I didn't want to record this during class because I want to protect my student's identity. Um, before I do anything, though, this is what it looks like when you sign into your Zoom meeting if you have nothing turned on. I have my Canva slide right here that I made of John Lawrence for my one of my Hamilton classes. Before I share my screen or anything else, on the upper right hand side, you see this present. I'm going to press present and I'm going to do presenter view. What this does is it brings up a little window right here in the bottom right hand side. This is what my students will see view behind that, that this is the teacher's view as you can see. Um, where are some notes? Right here. In the right hand side, these are my presenters notes that I was talking about, the things that I don't want to forget when I do my presentations. So once I'm ready to screen share, I go back to my Zoom window. I press screen share right here. It'll pop up to ask what window I want to share. See right here on the left hand side, this is my teacher view. Right here is my student's view, so I'm gonna press that. If you are playing any music or sound, you wanna definitely make sure you tick the share sound button, and then you're gonna press share. I generally don't like this in the middle, so I will push it down a little bit. When you first screen share, your windows might be this big, and how I get to see everybody is I resize all my windows. I go to the right hand side wherever my window is and I drag it smaller. I do that with the top view too so that way I can fit more students up here. I generally probably just drag it down a little bit right here. And from here I will open participants. I will drag that down here. So I can still see the participants on the bottom right hand side and I will open up the chat, bring the chat up here and let me start my video. If no other student has their video started and you don't have your video started, you will not see anybody's video until you start your video yourself. So what will happen is you generally, at least on my computer, you pop up in the upper right hand side. I drag this over or above my, my presenter's view. I do not want it to be up and down. I want it, it to be 
horizontal. Sometimes you'll come here and it will only be show active speaker view. If you want to see everyone, um, regardless if they're speaking, you want to hit right here, show thumbnail view. And then if you hover towards the bottom right hand side, you can generally do um, a horizontal. It'll do a horizontal flip. And if you have more than one student, you generally can hover in this bottom right hand corner and it will give you the option to make it wider. And so therefore you can see more than just a couple of students at the same time. Since I only have two participants in this meeting, it's not going to be able to show that. But let me see. Generally, it will show this little, do you see these little like mm, diagonal bars right here? that will just make it bigger. So if you have more than one or two participants or more than two participants and you want it to be bigger, you can do that, but you will want it to be in the show thumbnail view. Like I said, those little bars will not show up if you only have two students. If you have more than two, it will show up when you have the thumbnail view. I hope that helps you. So there's no confusion. So remember when I press my screen share, and you see, and I hit the pre presenter's view, you see this green outline right here around this window. This is the view that my students see while they are in Zoom. They will not see my big teacher view right here. So as, I'm just gonna put the chat box up a little bit and I'm gonna move this participant so you guys can see what changes when I press these little arrow buttons in the teacher's view or the presenter's view. So keep an eye on the bottom right hand side. That is the view that my students will see well in Zoom. So as I toggle throughout my presentation and I teach throughout all of this, as I toggle the bottom side and you can see that I have some GIFs um, within my presentation. Um, this is what my students see. Let me get to a place where, oh, so you see all my notes on the right hand side. My students do not see that. They only see this window right here. So I love creating Canva because it's easy to add these cool GIFs because my students are at that age where they like GIFs. And I can also see all of my notes as well. So if you have any history fans or Hamilton history fanatics and then they want to come take my class, I would love to see them this fall. I love teaching my Hamilton history classes. All right, so if that has been helpful. If you have any questions about online teaching on Zoom, let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye.